So now I'm going to talk a little bit about the third stage of birth. And this is the birth of the placenta. So there's two ways to do this. Firstly, there's the physiological third stage. And basically that means allowing the body to do what it does best and expel the placenta on its own. So before the placenta is expelled, your healthcare professional will look for something called a separation bleed. It's a very small loss of blood, which normally indicates to us that the placenta has separated away from the side of the womb. To do this, the uterus needs contractions. So breastfeeding can help stimulate contractions. Carrying out skin to skin can help release more oxytocin, which in turn causes more contractions. And also keeping upright and mobile as gravity can help the placenta descend out of the uterus and the cervix. The medical model allows one hour before intervention is required. If a mother is bleeding too heavily during this time, we do not recommend a physiological third stage and we will ask you for consent to give you the injection, which helps speed up the delivery, which I'll talk about a little bit more now. So this is called an active or a managed third stage. It's also exactly what it says. An injection containing synthetic oxytocin is offered to you. This injection can be given as soon as the baby is born or can be given a little after if you change your mind from a physiological third stage to a managed third stage. Your healthcare professional will still wait for the separation bleed and will then be a little more hands-on and can help deliver the placenta.